Hey guys, Lynn Murray here, your Quitting Evangelist, coming to you with this week's slightly hurried Quit of the Week. I am leaving in zero time, I have no watch. I'm leaving in like 10 minutes to go up to Salt Lake City for FitCon Summit. I'm very excited, I'll be podcasting from there. Not live, but you know, recording some podcasts. Anyway, uh, if any of you saw my post yesterday about why I was suddenly like midweek dancing, uh, the theme has carried on in today's Quit of the Week, which is quit doing. Now, I might have discussed with you guys at some point in time that I used to have this extensive morning routine. I would get up and I would make the bed and then I would have this specific amount of water and then I would foam roll in this specific way and then I would do breath work and then I would journal and then I would meditate, then I would go work out, notice I still have not eaten, and then uh, after my workout I would go on a walk and then I would come back and I would sit in a sauna and then I would read for 20 minutes and then I would make an Instagram post and then I would shower and then I would eat. All in the name of health. <laughs> now, if that sounds exhausting to you, it was definitely exhausting to me. And while doing all that, while again, most of that was not having eaten because intermittent fasting was cool, it still is for other people, um, I gained weight. <laughs> and like, I was so frustrating to be gaining weight despite the fact that I was doing all these things, right? My to-do list, I mean, I would wake up at seven, I'd be done at one with my morning routine that everybody says, have a great morning routine, that'll jumpstart your day. It was taking half of my day. So my buddy Josh Trent's like, maybe we can cut down on that morning routine a little bit. So I started thinking about it. And at this point I cut out the intermittent fasting because I realized that was not working. And I you know, did some testing like, okay, maybe I've got some endocrine problem. Maybe that's why I'm gaining weight. And I did all this stuff and got a new workout and a new more restricted diet plan. And the weight did not come off, it just kept coming. And I started to realize, uh, I can't even stay awake all day. Like by six o'clock, I'm ready to go to bed. This is terrible. I'm sleeping eight to nine hours. So says my aura. And what's happening? I'm doing all the things, you know, I get up and I rebound like Tony Robbins says, and I do the breath work and I do, and I do, and I do, and I do. Does this sound familiar to anybody else? I mean, there were, before self-care came around there were, and morning routines, there was already enough things we were supposed to be doing, but we would forget to do anything for ourselves. But then guess what? Doing things for ourselves also becomes another thing on the to-do list, right? Like, man, some days I just want to get up and do none of the things, but I know that the breath work is good for me and, and journaling is good for me. But there's this inner, it feels like this inner clock or inner like this, this feeling that it's like always a to-do list, always with check marks. And after having done law school and med school, and that was in reverse order, med school and law school and yoga teacher training and all the things that have been to-do lists in my life, residency, fellowship, this and that, man, I think I need a break. And I think some of you probably get where I'm coming from. Like you've been doing your whole lives. And then when you feel like you need a break, you're told to do more things to take that break, like get a massage and then do it. And like, those are all well and good and they have their point and their purpose. And they're definitely like, yes, I encourage a daily meditation and breath work practice and all these things. But at some point it occurred to me, like I spend so much time doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. Where is the thing that I want to be doing? I want to go dance. I want to go sing. I want to just throw a steel mace around in the yard and twirl some clubs and not go to the gym and hit it so hard. And, and it occurred to me, like, I think I'm going to stop doing for a while. I'm still going to do the breath work. Yes, I'm still going to foam roll, but I'm going to put less pressure on myself to do all those things. And I'm going to put more emphasis on doing the things that I enjoy and that I love. And for those entrepreneurs out there, I bet a lot of you feel me because you've probably been told to do all these things for your business, which I am as well. Like, okay, you got to get a funnel and then you got to do this thing for your Facebook group and you've got a quick, um, you know, quit of the week and then a quit tip for your specific group. And then I've got to get a marketing person to get my course market in this and that. And I need to invest some money. Like, oh my goodness, you guys, there's so many things we're supposed to be doing that maybe every once in a while we're, we're just supposed to take a break. And this is hard. I mean, I like, it's hard to take a full on day off. I have three separate jobs. Luckily one of them is this, and I can take the day off from that pretty much whenever. Um, but still many things on the to-do list. And if you're feeling me on this one, then this is your little permission slip that you didn't need from me, but maybe if you want to hear it, to just quit doing sometimes. Wake up one day where you don't even do the things that are good for you. Take a day off of breath work, who cares? It, it, it will be there for you tomorrow. Take a day off of the gym, unless the gym is what really lights you up. 
or skip the gym and go dancing like I did yesterday. I mean, there's so many ways to just make little changes. My buddy Kirk just piped in and said, the difference between to-do list and inspired action is mind blowing. Exactly, right? I chose yesterday to do what I was inspired to do, which was go Latin dance at 9.30 in the morning. It made my whole day. I loved it. I was able to stay awake until like a normal person time at night. I was not exhausted. I felt energized all day. I can totally feel the difference. And I know a lot of you, if you stop and thought for a minute, you realize, wow, this to-do list, even though it's full of things that I should be doing because they're good for me, again, there's a should, realize that, you know what else is good for you? Taking a break. So here's just your reminder or permission or whatever you need if you are an overdoer. And, and it's, it's not a shame. <laughs> my lift. Anyway, I forgot to turn that off. Anyway, no shame in being an overdoer, but just realize at some point in time, it's okay to take a break. All right, that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next week, happy quitting.